Hi and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more interesting tips and tutorials. Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video we continue with our flower, with our embroidery and I will show you new way how you can finish your edge. Let's start. First of all take a cardboard, our flower and circle our flower to the cardboard as we always do with our brushes. And make a line smaller than our flower, as our cardboard should be smaller. Cut it out. When it's ready, we take a glue, put the glue on your embroidery, then to the cardboard, leave it for a couple of seconds, let the glue dry a bit and connect parts together this way. Take a leather, eco leather or felt, what you have at home. Again, put the glue on the cardboard, on our flower. Then a bit on our leather. And connect parts together. It is very important to use soft glue. I have here moment crystal as then after we finish our edge I will create a ring out of it. So I will need to connect two parts together, this part and uh, ring base what we will make in next tutorial. And that's why I need my glue flexible. That's why be careful and don't use super glue. Cut out our embroidery. Leave around one millimeter of leather all over our embroidery. Now I take a thread, I will secure it inside my embroidery and I will start to finish my edge. Come out from the felt. Take one seed bead, pierce leather and felt, and go into the same seed bead from right side to the left. Take one more seed bead. Pierce leather and felt. And enter again from right side to the left. Again one more. You skip a bit of space. pierce leather and felt and enter 
like from the right side to the left. When we will finish all our edge, we will enter to all of these seed beads all around and our edge will look like this, like a one extra seed bead row. Again, take one, pierce. And then turn to the same bead. We continue the same all over our flower. When you will be in between of two leaves, you don't need to go all over here. Just have to skip. Here there will be no stitches. And you make a stitch on the next leaf. And you continue as usual. I almost finished to sew on my seed beads. Just a few stitches left. Now I will check will be there enough space to sew on one more bead and I think yes, I will sew on my last seed bead. And what I will do next, I will pass through all edge seed beads with my needle and thread to connect them together. And last part, as you can see my thread became very short, but I will try my best to finish my outline with short thread. This is the last part of my outline. Now outline is connected with one thread. I will pull it just a bit down.
then if you have the same problem as I have here that my thread is very short I will with empty needle I will pass into my embroidery this way and I will pass with the thread in the needle in this way and then I will try to pass one more time to secure my thread I will be very careful with my short tail and last one through the same spot that's it, I will pull and cut my thread our embroidered flower is ready if you want to create an earring out of it you can connect hook from one of the sides and make it as a mono earring or you can glue on clip-on element if you want still to make it as a brooch you can glue on magnetic clasp here but in my next tutorial i will show you how i will create ring out of this flower see you in my next tutorial have a great day Bye!